Oops. That's okay. Okay. Excuse me, Angel. <laughs> My new little puppy here, guys. I love her so much. Anyway, this is not a, a video of... This is not going to be a, a pleasant video. Right now, I am beyond outraged at what's going on concerning this whole virus situation. And the reason I'm so outraged and furious is because of the idiots in this country. Absolute idiots in our country. I see all these fools online fighting against wearing masks, fighting against social distancing. Even though this virus is spreading like wildfire in this country. You damn idiots out there who refuse to wear your masks, who refuse to show social distance, who refuse to stop gathering for anything, birthdays, graduations, any kind of party, any kind of gathering, you guys are the reason that this is going to continue and it has me furious because I want it to end. I want this over with. I miss having my kids, my grandkids come in. I miss being able to just go to a store and not worry about wearing a mask or sanitizing everything, washing my hands constantly, sanitizing, just sanitizing, sanitizing. I'm sick of all of it. But it's going to continue because of the idiots in this country who think that being told to wear a mask and being told to social, social distance and being told to stay home is, oh, you're, you, it's you liberals out there, you're controlling us, you're trying to tell us what to do, oh, it's, it's new world order, oh, oh, all you idiots with all your bullshit. This has nothing to do with any of that. This has to do with the fact that whatever you believe, if you do believe it's new world order, we've got a virus here that is killing people and not just killing them, but causing horrific, horrific side effects. There are people now who have had it and supposedly, cured, or, or, or survived it rather, and they're having horrible after effects from it, horrible after effects. People are talking about how their brains aren't functioning right, how they're, they're confused, how their bones hurt, how they're not themselves anymore. This is not like a flu, you idiots. This is not something that you get a high fever, you get sick, you get over it, you're on with your life. This one is leaving damage behind. And all you idiots out there who are talking about, just open the schools, you're trying to control our children and control us, you fools. I challenge you. I challenge all you idiotic Trumpsters who believe everything that idiot orange head says. I challenge you. You think it's okay to open schools? You think it's safe that your child won't get it like the stupid faux news reporters? Oh, well, it's, you know, the children don't get it as bad. No, but guess what? They can take it home to those who can get it as bad and die from it. And children are dying from it. It's not like they're immune to it. So you idiots out there that think schools should open, I tell you what, I give you a challenge to all you Trumpsters. Go ahead. Open your homes. Have, you, you, I don't know if you know this, being a Trumpster, but you can homeschool children. Did you know that? You can homeschool kids. Yeah, you can. So open your homes. Why don't all those rich faux news reporters open their homes? Let the people come in. Let the students come in. Let all the kids come in. Let the teachers come in. Let the parents come in. Let everybody come into your homes. Since you believe the BS that faux news spouts and Trump spouts, that he didn't wear a mask, that, oh, it's not going to be that bad, it's going away. Open your homes, you fools. Open them to everybody so that they can just come on in without masks. All you, know, all you naysayers about masks, go ahead. Open your homes to let lots of people come in without masks. Go ahead. I guess maybe it's natural selection that the idiots that are doing this are the ones that are going to most likely die. And sadly, though, there is the side effect that whoever you spread it to, which you will because you're too stupid to realize that maybe you might not get very sick, but you could give it to somebody in your family, your friends, your neighbors, whatever, that could kill them. You're too stupid and selfish to realize, wow, I should wear a mask whether I like it or not. You idiots out there who are against the masks, why haven't you been fighting against doctors, Surgeons, nurses wearing masks. Why now? 
because you have to wear one. And no, it's not the most convenient thing, but it's hardly the worst thing. I can think of a hell of a lot worse things to have to be forced to do in this world than put a little piece of cloth across my mouth while I go shop or or, or, or go, if I'm gonna be around somewhere where there are people, oh my gosh, how terrible is it? What kind of wusses are you that it's so difficult for you to wear a piece of cloth? How hard is that? How hard is it to stop and say, you know what? We want this virus gone. We want our country back to normal. The way we're going to do it as Americans is we're going to wear masks if we have to go out. We're going to stay home as much as possible. And believe me, in most people's cases, that can be any time that they're not having to work if they have to work. You can be home. If you have to go into a store to get groceries, you wear a mask. You wear a good mask that covers well so that your spit doesn't go out to infect somebody and for all you idiots that I've seen online saying oh a mask don't prevent you from getting it how stupid can you be I knew from the very beginning when I heard the government saying oh it's not going to help you it's not going to help you from you know prevent you from getting it it's going to prevent you from putting your spit out into the air for others to get it I'm not a scientist I'm not a doctor I'm not a a genius, but guess what I figured out right from the start? Um, if that mask prevents the virus droplets from, or the saliva droplets from going out, it's obvious go obviously going to help keep them from being sucked in. <gasps> brilliant, isn't it? Isn't that a brilliant deduction? You have a barrier here. You're talking. Your spit, all of your spit can't get out. Well, guess what? All of the spit can't get in so it helps prevent it. No, it's not 100%. Just like an umbrella, you idiots. An umbrella will not keep your entire body dry, but why do we use one? Well, we don't want our head and our upper bodies to get soaked, you know. It's not going to prevent the bottom part from getting wet, but we still use one. Why? Because it partially helps keep us from getting soaked. Duh! The same as a mask partially helps to keep those droplets from being spread and from being sucked in. That's the only way we are going to get this virus out of this country and help keep it out. But as long as we have the idiots that we now have, I see it online, it disgusts me beyond words to see these idiotic people having parties, going to the beach by the hundreds, by the thousands, being right next to each other. I see all these idiotic youthful people what the hell happened to the young people that they're so stupid is beyond me. And I see it all the time. I watched one idiot kid. Oh, well, I don't really worry about it. I just don't think it's that big of a deal. I think they're just hyping it up. It's the media. Where do you think that comes from? The stupid Trump administration. Trying to make it seem like the media is the enemy. Well, we've got people dying all around here. We've got people dying everywhere. Horrible deaths. It's not like you get sick and then you're dead. You suffer. You suffer horrible consequences from this virus and die. But the idiots of this world, especially you stupid conspiracy theorists, oh, I think it's all made up. It's a hoax. I don't believe it. Like that stupid Chuck Woolery. Anybody remember Chuck Woolery? I do. That idiot was online tweeting how, oh, it's all lies. The media is hyping it up, blah, blah, blah. Well, guess what? His son caught it. So he deleted his tweeting. He deleted his Twitter account. He deleted all the tweets he had put out there. Why? Because he knew he looked like a stupid idiot saying that it's all nothing. That it's being made to be much more than it is. Once his son got it, well, guess what? Now he's saying it's a serious thing and people should be wearing masks. Oh, how stupid can you get, Chuck? Now that it affects you, it's important. Now that it affects your life and your family, now you're telling people what they should be doing? That shows you how stupid people in this country are. I am infuriated, guys, and I don't care what you think of me right now. I don't care if you don't like the fact that I'm cussing. I could give a damn. Because right now, my life is being affected. My children's lives are being affected. My grandchildren's lives are being affected. And it sickens me that it's going to continue because of idiots across this country who don't want to follow what is known to help prevent and el eventually eliminate this. You idiots out there who follow Trump, you idiots who follow Fox News, 
You're disgusting. You are deplorable. You are dis you're just sick. I don't know how you could have a brain that is normally functioning and support an idiot like Trump. I don't know how. I was raised in a household to have a little common sense, you know, to, look, to, 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 to kind of judge bad from good. And when I see something like Trump, I'm like, how can anybody with a right thinking mind, and especially you evangelists and you Christians out there who, oh, you love your God and you think God's so wonderful, and then you support something as evil as Trump, how insane can you be? That's like saying, I believe in God, I love him, I know he's there, I honor him, but Satan is running for the presidency, so I'm going to support it because he's a Republican. That's what you idiot Republicans are doing. You're supporting somebody who represents what evil is. You're, you're supporting what evil is because he's a Republican. If he had been a Republican, if he had been a Democrat, I sure as hell wouldn't have voted for him under any circumstances. I wouldn't care if I had agreed with every single damn policy that he had. His character would have been enough for me to say, no way in hell will I have that horrible human being be the president of my country. But there are a lot of stupid people out there who only follow their party. They don't follow what is right. They don't follow what they know is, look, this is wrong. I can't support that guy. No, they're too stupid. They're those crazy people that just support their party come hell or high water. If that had been Satan, they would have been out there. Oh, yeah, hey, well, look, he's a Republican. I mean, you know, he can't be all that bad. I like what he's saying. I like his policies. So what if he calls people names? So what if he belittles people? So what if he tears people down? So what if he's constantly doing the wrong thing, saying the wrong thing, lying to people constantly, constantly lying, the guy does. He lies like he breathes. All his administration, the people that work for him, they lie for him. It is a despicable situation. And it has me infuriated because Trump is part of the reason that this is the main reason this virus has gotten out of control. Instead of showing how serious it was from the beginning, he downplayed it like the idiot that he is. And then his idiot followers went along with him. And you people who keep traveling, you keep traveling everywhere. Are you so goddamn stupid that you can't just sit back and say, you know what? I want this country back to normal. I want this virus gone. We all need to just stop. Yes, it's going to hurt the economy. No doubt about it. It will hurt the economy. But guess what? So does everybody dying. So does everybody not being able to go to work. So does everybody who no longer has money. They have to turn to welfare. They have to turn to the government for help because they can't get a job. Maybe a mother who has four kids. Her husband was a supporter. He dies from it. What's she going to do? Go get a a wage, uh, an hourly wage type of thing. Oh, I'm, I'm making seven bucks an hour, eight bucks an hour, ten bucks an hour. That's not enough to support a family. But no, keep on going with your stupid crap of, well, I see it all the time. Trump came and he saved us. Yeah, he saved us all right. He saved us from getting better. He saved us from, from things getting, getting uh, in, in a situation where everything was, was going to be uh, the, to the benefit of people. I am so angry right now, I can't tell you. I sit here day after day thinking, I can't even just hop, hop up and go to the store without knowing I have to wear a mask, knowing that, that, that people are having to stay apart from each other. I can't do that. I don't go to the stores anymore. If I do decide to go, I go when they first open for the seniors at senior hour, and I rush in, get what I want, and rush out. And that's only rarely. I'm, 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 ordering my groceries and stuff online and having them put them in my trunk when I get there to prevent from having to go in. And so right now I'm furious. I see my little grandkids who want to be with their friends. They want to go out and have fun. They can't. They can't do it because they have to. My, my, my daughter has been very cautious. She's like, uh-uh, I'm not going to risk them getting it. And thankfully, where she lives in Rio Rancho, they're not, they're going to have uh, kids have the option, parents have the option to teach their, or have their kids go to school online, remotely, rather than go into a school, thankfully. I was worried to death about that. I have two other grandchildren that I'm worried to death about. And I'm hoping that, you know, the situation works for them as well. And I'm furious right now, guys. I'm furious that as I look at the world outside, sometimes I'll sit on my back porch and I'll look out and I'll think, it's never going to be the same. Things are, I'm just angry inside. Things aren't going to go back to normal until all the idiots of this goddamn country get their shit together 
And they start saying, look, we don't like this. We don't like rules being put down on us like this over masks, but the only way we're going to avoid it and get rid of it is to simply follow those rules so that the virus disappears. You people out there bitching about wearing masks, we have laws you have to wear a seatbelt. Why aren't you protesting that? We have laws where you have to get a marriage license to get legally married. Why aren't you protesting that? We have laws where we have, um, uh, 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 there's all kinds of things where you have to have a certificate, you have to have a license, you have to have something. Why aren't you protesting all that? No, instead you're protesting something that will keep this country alive, that will keep thousands of people alive, that will keep children from getting a horrible, horrible thing. I'm sure you've seen, if you're intelligent enough to have watched all news besides Fox News, because if you just watch Fox, you're not very intelligent. But I'm sure you've seen what this disease does or what this virus does to children, what it's doing to them. They get this horrible, horrible inflammatory disease that leaves them in agony. I mean, it looks like their bodies are exploding. Is I mean, they just look, they're just so inflamed. It's horrible. I can't even imagine what those poor children are suffering. But it's not going to go away. It's not going to go away until you idiots out there come to your senses and, and so many of you idiots out there who, who, who are against the masks and everything, you're the very ones that when you catch it, you're going to be in the hospital, save me, help me, save me. Well, you are the ones that I say shouldn't get helped. Any one of you idiots out there who don't want to wear a mask, who don't want to social distance, who don't want to stay home at all costs, and I mean at all costs, yeah, it's hard. It's hard for me. It's hard for families. It's hard for children. It's hard. But that's the only way we're going, to, we're going to beat this. But if you think that that's too much to wear a mask, to stay home so that this can disappear, then you deserve whatever the hell you get. I have no sympathy or empathy for any of you who are against masks, who are against social distancing, who are against staying home. I have no empathy or sympathy for you if you catch it or if you die. I don't. Your family and friends who care about you, yes. You, personally, no. I could give a rat's ass. And why? because you are the reason that's going to keep this entire thing going. And you idiotic Trumpsters out there, you stupid Trumpsters out there who listen to that stupid orange piece of crap, you're part of the biggest, you're one of the biggest parts of this problem. I see all the idiots online. Well, I'm not going to let Trump tell me. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to let the liberals tell me what to do. I believe my president, my president is telling me what to do and I believe him. You liberals are just trying to control us. You're trying to bring a new world order. You're just trying to ruin our lives and our economy. No, you idiots. We've got a virus that is taking over. It is taking over instead of us people taking over it. It is taking over because of the idiocy of you people. How many times have I seen now? A family gets together for a party. Now six of them have it. A family gets together for a gathering. Now 16 of them have it. Some of them are dying. How stupid can people be? I'm serious. How stupid can people be? I, 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 it, it astounds me that we have this many stupid people in this country. I knew there were a lot when I saw that Trump was being voted for because when he started running, I thought nobody's that dumb. Nobody's going to follow for. Nobody's going to be dumb enough to 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 vote for something like that. But then I realized afterwards, okay, there are a lot of bigots, there are a lot of racists, there are a lot of stupid people who would even think of voting in something as idiotic, mean, cold-hearted, lacking in empathy, lacking in common sense, the word scrambler that he is. He, he does nothing but word salads when he talks. He sounds like an idiot when he speaks. He actually sounds like an idiot. He sounds like his brain can't keep one sentence going and then he goes to another one. He's an absolute idiot. And now he's got people who, who followed him all this time since this virus began. Now the idiot decides to finally wear a mask. Oh, he sits back saying, well, I don't feel the need to wear a mask. I don't, I just don't feel, blah, blah, blah. The, and of course, his idiotic base followed him. Oh, well, Trump says you don't have to wear a mask, so I'm not going to either. Well, now people are fighting against it. Today in my own city, there was a great big old gathering, hundreds of protesters going to the Civic Plaza against all of this. And I'm like, you are the idiots, you are the fools, you are the morons, you are the evil that is going to keep this virus going. And why? 
because people have become so selfish. They become so self-centered. They become so just stupid. I hear people say, oh, yeah, I hate staying home. I hate it too. I've had days when I cry because I know I'm kind of stuck here. I have days when I've cried, when it's gotten me so down that I think, my gosh, I can't have my grandkids over. I can't have my kids over for a barbecue inside. It's too damn hot outside. When you got 100 degrees or 90 some degrees, it's not too comfortable to be outside to gather. So yeah, I have my rough days. But the more I look at the people fighting against what will help prevent this and help it go away, the more angry I get. The more upset I get thinking, this is unreal. I cannot believe we have this many stupid people in our country. You idiots out there who say, well, I might get it and I might just get a little sick, who cares? Are you going to feel that way when you kill your mother, your father, your grandmother, your aunt, your uncles, or whoever? Are you, going to, are you that heartless? Are you like Trump to the point that you could care less who you affect? That's what that idiot does. He could care less who he affects. And that's why that idiot went into places without a mask. He didn't care that he could be infected. And he thinks, and he's so stupid, and his administration is so stupid, when they say, well, he gets tested every day. That doesn't mean that at some point he won't have it, and then he was out there without a mask. But now, all of a sudden, oh, he, he wore a mask. I saw he wore a mask. Oh, gee, why? Is the little chicken shit, the little, the little idiot, afraid he might get it now because people on his staff, secret servants, all these other people, they're coming down with it? Gee, now the little chicken shit is now going to wear it. But before, he thought he was being the tough guy, showing everybody, see, I don't have to wear a mask. I'm not going to get it. And then his idiot followers did the same. Well, you fools out there, I am outraged, I am furious, I am angry as hell because this has affected my life, my family's lives, many people's lives in every way because you choose not to do what is necessary. You choose not to do what will keep this at bay and eventually get rid of it. And you idiots out there who talk about herd immunity and who talk about, well, if you get it, you get it. Yeah, well, then I hope you're the one who gets it, and I hope you're the one that leaves the earth, because we certainly don't need idiots like you around. And I say this with all my heart and soul, and I don't care if you're offended by it, but all of you people who don't want to take the precautions necessary to prevent this from spreading and killing and hurting those that are taking all, all the precautions, there are millions of people who are taking the precautions, who are doing everything possible to prevent this from spreading. Those are the ones that my heart goes out to if they catch it because of the idiots like you who have chosen not to take the precautions. I could care less. And I say this with every fiber of my being. I could care less about you idiots who sit back and say, I'm not going to take the precautions. I don't care if you get it. I don't care if you die. And I mean that. And why? Because I know that your idiocy is going to cause some innocent person who is fighting against this to not spread it. Who is fighting against it that they've caught it and they're in the hospital possibly dying. They're on a ventilator when they were doing everything possible. But then there's people like you who are out there spreading it. Constantly spreading it because you say, you're not going to force me to wear a mask. You're not going to. No. It's my right. And when I watch those idiots online spouting all that crap, I'm like, where is their brain? Where is their brain? How, is, how are they functioning as a human being when they can't see that this is such a simple thing? I see people online saying masks don't help. That's a lie. Okay, then an umbrella doesn't help keep you dry either. Nothing helps you, right? You have to be an utter, total moron to think, um, let's see got my laundry here to think that well I'm talking and my saliva is coming out is not going to be held back a little bit by this you have to be stupid you can't be anything but stupid to think like right now as I'm talking fast I can feel my saliva coming out I can feel a little you can feel it if you talk really fast you'll do the same you can feel it to say that my saliva coming out right now will not be stopped by this you have got to be the most moronic idiot ever created. And sometimes I feel like maybe this is some kind of a natural selection, you know. The only problem is, is that the idiots that are being naturally selected to get off of this earth, you're also hurting other people. 
Because frankly, at this point, the way I feel now, I could care less if every one of you, and I mean it, I could care less if every one of you who choose not to wear a mask, who choose not to stay home, I could care less if you got it, I could care less what happened to you. I would only feel for, for any family member or friend that is following what's necessary to prevent it, and they'll be missing you. That's, those are the only people I would feel bad for, like, oh wow, their family's going to miss their mother, their father, whoever. But so many of you are being so stupid and idiotic to the nth degree. You're not, ch you're not teaching your young children. I see these idiotic youth of today at the beach, tons of them together with no masks, right up against each other. And then you hear the story. After this gathering at the beach, uh, several kids have come down with the virus. No shit. Really? Oh my gosh. I needed a scientist to tell me that that could possibly happen. The youth of today is coming off as pretty damn stupid. And I think that's pretty sad. I, I know if I were that youth, I wouldn't be coming off as stupid as they are. And I see it constantly. So all of you people out there, yes, I'm mad. I'm mad as hell today because it's been very difficult for me. It's been hard for me not to have my kids and my grandkids. It's been hard for me to know that I can't just go out and do what I want without, oh, my mask. I actually drove back. I had to drive back the other day, a, a couple weeks ago. I decided to go to Target right when they opened for uh, early hours, because there's nobody in there. It's been cleaned the whole bit. I drove there, I thought, oh, my mask. I drove back to get my mask. I am sick and tired of all this. I'm sick of knowing I don't have the freedom you people who are bitching that you your freedoms are being take away, taken away because you have to wear a mask, you assholes are taking my freedoms away and other people like me. You're taking our freedoms away of being able to just go and do what we want because you keep spreading the damn virus by being ignorant and stupid and moronic and Trump-like and not wearing your mask not social distancing, not staying home, not having big gatherings. Just like that idiot orange monster who, he didn't wear masks, Pence didn't wear masks, Pence, the stupid, oh God, Pence, I could just get him and wring his neck. Oh, I swear that little guy, he just drives me crazy. I don't know what it is about him, but his words, his actions, the brown nosing he does to Trump, I just can't stand him. I'm telling you, I watched those people. I watched Trump and Pence and the people around him not wearing masks, and I thought, what a role model, right? What a great role model. Don't wear anything because you know your stupid base will follow you. And you know damn well that Trump sits back and laughs. He laughs. He sits back and he goes, I'm an idiot and I can do the most idiotic thing, and guess what? They're going to follow me. Ha, ha, ha. That's what he does. So i got to end this because I'm furious. You people out there not wearing your masks, staying home, and social distancing, you're the one keeping this going. You're the one who will keep everything as it is right now. And shame on you, and you are disgusting.